Chris has Bookham. He's talking about uh, books about basketball. Jerry has On Track. Of course, he's a jockey. And Keith with the 86 Mets. What a year that was. All right, you ready? Absolutely. Your two-minute drill begins now. John Robinson. What innovator of the West Coast offense was Stanford's head coach twice in his career? Bill Walsh. Sure. Which Tennessee head football coach led the volunteers to the 1998 national title? Philip Fulmer. Right. Who was the first head coach in Carolina Panther history? Pass. Dom Capers. Which brass SEC head coach runs the fun and gun offense? Steve Spurrier. True, he's done. Keith Hernandez. In 1986, which 20 year old, year old flamethrower tied the Mets team lead in strikeouts? Quite good. Right. Which former Expo was the only Met to top 100 RBIs in 1986 regular season? Rusty Stahl. Gary Carter. What team did the 86 Mets beat in a 16 inning playoff game? Houston Astros. Right. Who led the 86 Mets in stolen bases? Kevin McCrimmon. Dykstra. He's done. Christopher McDonald. What wild and crazy 60s and 70s basketball league is the subject of Terry Pluto's book, Loose Balls? The ABA. Right. Which NBA 99 legend book begins on August 18th, 1992? I announced my retirement from the Boston Celtics. Uh, Larry Bird. True. Phil Jackson wrote the foreword to this book, Values of the Game, written by which Knicks teammate? Pass. Bill Bradley. Which former coach of the WNBA, Detroit Shock, authored Basketball for Women, becoming a complete player? Nancy Lieberman Klein. True, he's done. Jerry Bailey. What is the first event in thoroughbred racing's Triple Crown? Kentucky Derby. Of course. What multi-race, single-day horse racing championship was inaugurated at Hollywood Park in 1984? Belmont Stakes. Breeders' Cup. What New York State town, known for spring water, has been host to the Traverse Stakes for over 125 years? Belmont. You really know your racing. What United Arab Emirates city annually hosts a horse race event known as the richest horse race in the world? Pass. No, it's Dubai. Dubai. So nine points total, no bonus points for you, but a decent start. You got the lead right now. And I got to tell you, the part there on Jerry where I was sort of ridiculing you for not knowing horse race, and that was Saratoga up there, a beautiful place, oldest track in North America. Switch places. Let's see if nine's any good in the first round. Don Gold is coming up, 31 years old, a bar manager slash bartender. So you're getting paid twice to manage, and you manage yourself. What do you do there? I actually get paid salary, which makes less than a bartender. Well, the bartenders get tips, right? Absolutely. I get paid less than a bartender. Pretty That's much. wrong. It's outrage. But did your customers and the other people around there help you out for the sports quiz? Because people go to bars, are always talking about sports. They kind of prep you for this? Yes. And they're all watching at the bar right now on TV? They will. And they can read along because of the enhancement this year. You chose as your specialty the 80 Oakland Raiders, that Super Bowl team, which actually is 81, right, because of the following yes. year. And grew up a big Raider fan? Still am. All right, let's find out if you get to that stage because, of course, that's the question of great significance. Right now, you got to beat nine points to get the lead. And the categories for you are, John has who shot JR, talking about initials, okay, athletes, teams, all that. Chris has feel the heat, Miami heat. And Jerry has racing, raised in a barn is his category. Keith is going with just a bit outside, uh, talking about control problems, uh, not incontinence. Here we're talking about pitchers. And just to further explain John's category, JR, it's the guys with the initials JR, but not Isaiah Ryder, although he did go to UNLV. Okay? Your two minute drill begins now. Chris McDonald. Donald, which current Knicks head coach is the little brother of a Miami Heat assistant named Stan? Jeff Van Gundy. Right. Which Heat guard was originally selected out of Temple by the Lakers in the 1994 NBA draft? Pass. Eddie Jones. Which beloved Latin singer is a limited partner in the Miami Heat franchise? Gloria Stefan. Julio Iglesias. In 1995, which Heat sharpshooter lit up the Orlando Magic with 56 points in a single game? Glenn Rice. Right, he's done. John Robinson. In 1995, which wideout set the NFL mark for single season receiving yards with 1,848? Jerry Rice. True. In 1998, which JR complimented the already powerful Vikings receiving core of Chris Carter and Randy Moss? Jake Reed. Right. What AFC, tie, what AFC team drafted tight end Jay Reedersma in 1996? Buffalo Bills. Right. Which JR Pro Bowl defensive lineman signed with the Seahawks in March 2001? John Randall. True bonus. Keith Hernandez. Bobby Whitlett, the American League in walks allowed 
three times in the 80s pitching for what team? Texas Rangers. Right. Charlie Sheen plays Indian pitcher Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn in what 1989 baseball flick? Major League. Right. Name the Braves closer whose ERA jumps to 10.18 in 1988 with because of control problems. Steve Bedrosian. 98. 1998. Long um, before John Parker. Wrong. I'm sorry. Long before becoming a Yankee pitching coach, which major league major leaguer walked 11 batters in a 1970 shutout? Mel Stottle. True, he's done. Jerry Bailey. Donald, which legendary horse simultaneously appeared on the covers of Time and Newsweek in 1973? Secretary. True. In 1978, which horse beat Ali Dar in all three Triple Crown races? Affirmed. Correct. What 1920 Preakness and Belmont winner was voted Horse of the Century by AP in December of 1999? Man of War. Right. Name one of the two Phillies to win the Kentucky Derby in the 1980s. Genuine risk or winning colors could have gone either way. And I just kind of made up a new rule and gave you a second guess because the, the years were so far off. But it was Mark Wohler's back there. So whatever. I like to make up rules once in a while. You, though, have the lead. 12 points to 9. You're the man after one round. You get the bonus to get you to 13 because John was throwing up a bunch of softies there on that who shot JR. 13 to 9 after one round. We'll see if that sticks. We'll come back with round two play as the two minute drill continues after this. ESPN's two minute drill is brought to you by Original Coors. Nothing beats an original. And by Saturn. Now with two distinctively different car lines the L Series and S Series. To play along with tonight's two-minute drill, log on to Enhanced TV at ESPN.com now. Time for the Saturn Two-Minute Drill Trivia Question. You get out of your vehicle what you put into it. So for services big and small, join the 11 million drivers who turn to us. The good wrench experts at their Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Real experts bringing you real value every day. Like these three great services for only $39.95 or less. GoodWrench. Expert care right at your dealer. You got to talk to one of those girls tonight. Okay, listen. Steve, uh, you're an ex-bullfighter. Ben, you're a, a romance novel cover model. I'm a plastic surgeon who only does pro bono burn work. And Josh, there's only three girls, so just be yourself. Oh, doctor. There are captains in every crew. Calling all captains! Drink responsibly. If you're taking eight extra strength Tylenol a day on the days that you have arthritis pain, you could end up taking four times the number of pills compared to Aleve. Choose Aleve and you could start taking fewer pills. Just two leave have the strength to relieve arthritis pain all day. Attention all homeowners. Do you want help today? Call the Loan Modification Help Hotline now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Find out what we can do for you today. The call is free. The consultation is free. Discover how much we can reduce your mortgage payment. Call now for a free consultation. We have trained staff ready to assist you. Call 1-800-230-3075. Inventors, do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? InventHelp can help you try to patent your idea and submit it to companies. InventHelp is America's largest invention company with sales offices in over 50 cities nationwide. Call today for your free information. Visit your Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer for a $50 mail-in rebate on tires, along with our tire price match guarantee. Goodrich, expert care right at your dealer. Uh, Carlos Pena or Raul Banez? 20 seconds. Seriously? Okay, need a big bat. Daddy needs some RBIs. Let's see. Carlos had 100, Raul had 93. Carlos is younger, but I like the sound of Raul. Raul. Definitely better to chant than Carlos. Plus, he's bald. When am I going to lose my hair? Dude, focus. Need a big bat. Vicente Padilla. Five pitchers in a row? <laughs> Interesting. ESPN Fantasy Baseball. Sign up for free at ESPN.com. Here's the answer to tonight's Saturn two-minute drill trivia question. Back on the two-minute drill, we're going to send the seventh man to the quarterfinals of this grand tournament, giving away less than a billion dollars. But before we get that far, we're going to go and talk to our panel, a bunch of good guys. Christopher McDonald, you're great in Saturday Night Live. Thanks so much. 
You're better in Happy Gilmore. <laughs> oh, thank you. There was a guy named McDonald on Sunday. Yeah, there was. There was no, Norm McDonald. Talk actually. about Happy Gilmore then. Go ahead. Happy Gilmore was Come pretty, pretty killer. Yeah. Playing Shooter McGavin. That's funny. Shooter. Yeah, funny. <laughs> Do you like good. golf? Was all, love golf. Became a real fan of it after the movie. We played six days a week, uh, 18 hours a day. Do you uh, count all your strokes? Because we were talking about that upstairs. I hate guys who, like, like there's a good player who gets a four, yeah. next guy's a five, yeah. next guy's a six, and a uh, seven. Yeah. And he really had well, 17. Them, yeah. See, yeah. Four, yeah, that's a six. But you count your strokes. No, I have to. I have to. I, it's, it's the way I, I play the game. And that's uh, yeah, the only way I'm going to get better. What do you shoot? I'm a, I'm a bogey golfer, pretty right. much. Good luck in your golf. Thank you for uh, being here, and, and, I, and I know you're not that other McDonald. Thanks, Jerry man. Bailey, the Hall of Fame jockey. I'm a big horse race fan, so I love watching the way you ride. When you go like to the store, I saw your, your child up there. Do you put in the quarter and ride those little things just for practice to <laughs> and then just blow away some little kids? That was my first racing experience. Truly? You got hooked on it early? I, I thought I was going to kill myself until the Kmart manager pulled the plug and saved me. And then they always have those gumball, they have those gumball machines and the, it spins down to the bottom, but you never know how dirty the metal thing is and whether or not you should really eat the gum, but it's sort of like the whole spit on the ice cream thing, so do you eat it or not? I'm not allowed gum. Are you kidding? I watch my calories. <laughs> Every pound actually matters, doesn't it? When you're racing, always because you know you can't burn out a horse. You know, if you have a front end, you can't burn them out too much. You got to have that nice pace, like the way Commendable won the Belmont last year. But how do you count in your head? Like, what's 22 seconds? What's 45? One one thousand, two one thousand, <laughs> three one thousand. Do you really? I tell you, what's funny is sometimes we sing to the horses out there. Wow. Guy, a guy asked me one time. He said, if you'll sing to this horse, he'll really relax for you. So we're going down the backside, and the only song that came to my head was Jingle Bells, so I started singing Jingle Bells. This Did he week. win? He won. Good. Keep singing. Keep asking your questions. Keith Hernandez back with us, one of the pioneers from last year on the two-minute drill. Uh, we never get tired of talking about that Seinfeld episode. It, yes. was, it was one of the famed ones. Wasn't it a two-parter? It, actually, it was a uh, sweeps parter? week. It was an hour. An hour? They show it in, re in, in reruns as a two-parter now. And Oh, I see. Just to make more money. Now, do you still get a check? Absolutely. <laughs> Big check? It's diminishing. Do you, do you talk to Jerry very often? Uh, no, I haven't. He got married and has had a child. Baby, yeah. And uh, he's on the Upper West Side. I'm on the East Side. And uh, he's well, a family man. I'm not. All right. Well, if you talk to him, see if he'd be on the show. Thanks for being on the show yourself. <laughs> and thanks, all of you. All right. Let's go over the rules in the second round. One point for every correct answer. The difference from round one to round two is that the contestants don't know where those questions are coming from, except that they will come from this general area here, and they're about sports, OK? We're pretty good about that? I'm ready. You're down 9-13. That's a four-point deficit. You can do it. Hope so. Your two-minute drill begins now. In 2001, Golf Digest ranked what coastal California course as the greatest in America? Oakwood. Pebble Beach. Which track and football legend known as Wathahuck was the member of the Sack and Fox tribe? Pass. Jim Thorpe. What star-crossed National League team last won the World Series in 1908? Chicago Cubs. True. Which Knicks guard was a member of the 2000 U.S. Olympic basketball team? Alan Houston. Right. Which Scandinavian men's tennis great lost four times in the finals of the U.S. Open between 1976 and 1981? Von Lendl. John Borg. In 2001, which Sixers big man was selected to the All-Star team and then dealt to the Hawks? Theo Ratliff. Right. Which hard-throwing Anaheim Angel closer racked up 42 saves in 1998? Troy Percival. Right. What pro football league included a, a team called the Memphis Maniacs? Uh, XFL. Right. And at the 1984 Summer Olympics, American Al Joyner won a gold medal in what track and field event? Uh, the hurdles. Triple jump. Which St. Louis Cardinal shortstop played in his second All-Star game in 2000? Edgar Renteria. Right. In January 2001, who left the Cleveland, the college ranks to become head coach of the Cleveland Browns? Butch Davis. Right. Name the crafty Utah Jazz forward who averaged just over 30 points per game four straight years in the early 1980s. Pass. Adrian Dantley. Which once and future Chicago Cub was David Cohn's catcher for his 1999 perfect game? Joe Girardi. True. All pro defensive lineman Bruce Smith attended what university? Virginia Tech. Right. What was the respectful nickname of the little NBA guard Keith Jennings? Little Train. Mr. Before becoming a champ in four different weight classes, which sweet boxer won gold as a lightweight in the 1984 Olympics? Pass. Cornell Whitaker. In 1956, which Pittsburgh Pirates set the major league record by hitting home runs in eight consecutive games? Correct. And you got it before the buzzer had completed its buzzing. You have 19. You go from 9 to 19. You've got the lead. But it's only a six-point lead.
If uh, Don severely injures himself walking up here, you do have a chance to win. You guys swap places and we find out what happens here as we carry on in the second round. Don Gold down 13-19. All right, just six points. You need seven to win. Seems simple enough. I didn't mean to be so hard on you because it's happened before. We've seen some guys just completely fall apart. In this game, it just goes by like a blur. The whole thing happens so fast, doesn't it? Sure does. All right. Your two-minute drill begins now. The University of Maryland's men's basketball team goes by what official nickname? Terrapins. Right. Braves pitcher John Burkett has thrown strikes in what pro sport other than baseball? Bowling. True. Boxing champ Felix Trinidad was born on what Caribbean island? Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico. Which Hall of Fame quarterback appeared uneasy with his sushi in the 2000 commercial with Doug Flutie? Terry Bradshaw. True. The cities of Hartford, Springfield, Greensboro, and Raleigh have been home to what 2001 NHL franchise? Uh, Heart, um, Carolina Hurricanes. Right. Which Big Ten school reached the 1996 Rose Bowl after going 3-7-1 the previous year? Arizona State. Northwestern. In 1997, Pedro Mar Martinez became the first pitcher from what National League team to win the Cy Young Award? Montreal Expos. Right. Which Trailblazers head coach was fired after the team's first round exit from the 2001 NBA playoffs? Mike Dunleavy. Right. Which Detroit Tiger catcher won three straight gold gloves in the mid-80s? Lance Parrish. True. Which highly touted Bengals quarterback threw only three touchdowns in the 2000 season? Akili Smith. Oh yeah. In February 2001, which laid-back singer was ejected from a Heat Knicks game for using foul language? Jimmy Buffett. Right. At the 2000 Sydney Olympics, Russian Alexei Neymar won a gold medal in what sport? Boxing. Gymnastics. After undergoing 20 knee surgeries in his career, which Bronco Pro Bowl guard retired in April 2001? Pass. Mark Schlereth. Which, which, South, uh, which South African golfer known as the Black Knight won the 1965 U.S. Open? Uh, pass. Gary Player. In 1996, which infielder established a Baltimore Oriole team record for ribbies with 142? Uh, pass. Rafi Palmero. Wizards three-point threat. Hubert Davis is the nephew of which former son's prolific scorer? Pass. Walter Davis. Which defensive lineman out of pit was chosen by the Rangers? I'll go ahead and pass again. It doesn't matter. You have 22. You've won 22 19. You're the man. You go on into the quarterfinals 10,000 of this, maybe even 20,000. And I should point out that on the uh, utterance of Booyah, I normally would say Stuart Scott, y'all, but there was not time. I didn't want to cheat on your two minutes. So you, you've won. You've won some money. There's nothing wrong with what? $5,000? Congratulations right. on that. Good luck with your wife and your kids and your future. See you when we try to turn 10,000 to 20. We'll come right back to the question of great significance. Time for the Lee Dungarees Two Minute Drill Trivia Question. Lindsay Vaughn, she stays tough. Earlier, she had an all over achy cold. What's her advantage? It's Speedy Alka Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer Plus, Russia's relief for all over achy colds. The official cold medicine of the U.S. ski team, Alka-Seltzer Plus. All I knew was I wanted to work on electronics, obviously. I wanted to have a really successful career at it. My name is Nathaniel Carpenter. I am a information systems analyst. Well, I got my education from ITT Technical Institute. My wife thinks that my choice to go to ITT Tech has definitely helped me to reach the goals that I have for myself, my wife, and our life together to be able to pick and choose where we want to go and also the lifestyle that we want to live. What I liked about ITT Tech was the fact that um, I liked everything about ITT Tech. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-488-3116 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-488-3116. Call Consolidated Credit. They'll get the credit card companies to reduce or eliminate your interest. Call 800-440-5217. Consolidated Credit. When credit card debt is the problem, they're the solution.
This one here is research, this is favorites, and these are sleepers. This one here is a combination of the four. Gut, research, favorites. I gotta get back to work. ESPN favorites. Tournament Challenge. Sign up for free at ESPN.com. Celebrate the New Orleans Saints' first Super Bowl win with Sports Illustrated's exclusive championship package. You'll get this must-have NFL Films DVD, The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl 44 Champions. Plus, this limited edition hardcover book captures the incredible Saints with SI's famous writing and photography. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now and get both free with a paid subscription. 56 issues for only $1.59 an issue. Save 68% off the cover price. Use your credit card, and as a bonus, you'll also get this officially licensed football honoring the champion Saints. Designed exclusively for SI, it features scores from the entire season and includes a display stand and certificate of authenticity. City. Don't miss out on this special offer. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now to get the official DVD, the commemorative book, and the collectible football. Go to SITVOrder.com right now or call 800-368-7100. Here's the answer to tonight's Lee Dungaree's two-minute drill trivia question. On the two-minute drill, Don Dold out of Manchester, Connecticut, is the seventh human to move on into the quarterfinals of this summer-long tournament. Still to come in the uh, subsequent shows is Will Gibson, last year's champ. You'll see him in his first-round match. That'll be interesting stuff, but it's not about him. It's about you, Don. And uh, you've got an ESPN experience coming up. You're going to be going to the Coaches versus Cancer Men's Basketball Championship, so enjoy that. And now you're up to, what, $20,000 total because you got your extra question right in the last game. Yes. You're going to be asked a very difficult question about the 1980 Oakland Raiders, the Super Bowl champs. In 10 seconds or less, why do you love that team? Silver and black. That was like three seconds. Give me another one then. Um, just win, baby. One more. You're out of time. All right, we'll be right back <laughs> with the question of great significance. $20,000 on the line. Time for the original Coors two-minute drill trivia question. He is a master driver. His job is to measure what computers cannot. How a car moves you emotionally. Because that is the ultimate luxury. The newly redesigned Infiniti G Coupe. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. Imagine being at 30,000 feet with a plane full of kids and you have a heart attack. That's what happened to me. I'm on an aspirin regimen now. My doctor told me it's the easiest preventative thing you can do. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. See your doctor. Simple. I may be in my pajamas right now, but I'm not going to bed. I'm going to college online. Education Connection will connect you to the right online college for free. Log on to myschoolnow.com. That's myschoolnow.com. Week presented by Dick Sporting Goods. The action continues through March 14th on ESPN. First and second round coverage of the Masters, April 8th and 9th on ESPN. Here's the answer to tonight's original course two minute drill trivia question. ESPN's two minute drill is brought to you by Lee Dungarees. Can't bust them. And by Original Coors. Nothing beats an original. 
back on the two minute drill getting set up for the question of great significance now one floor below us is the cast from world's strongest men they have magnets and they're reaching up to the ceiling right now because they're really strong and then the oakland raiders is Defense intercepted 35 passes in the 1980 regular season. That's a lot. Lester Hayes had 13. He always had stick them on his jersey and stuff like that, too. That's a franchise record, the 13. After Hayes, however, there was a tremendous drop off with five players tied for second on the team with three picks apiece. For pride, glory, and more importantly, another 10 grand. Name those five Raiders. Then identify which one of the five returned one of his interceptions for a touchdown that year. Mike Davis. He's the guy. Burgess Owens. He's another one of the guys. He returned it for a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, I know. Otis McKinney. Otis McKinney's another one. You got two to go. Does this include postseason? Uh, regular season, it regular says here. Season. Okay. Good question. Dwayne Osteen? Yes. Ted Hendricks. You have won another $10,000. $30,000. Congratulations. He's the man going to the quarterfinals. Thank you very much. Great panel. Good audience. Good television set. Electricity, all that. See you next time. Another chance to play along with Two Minute Drill. Log on to ESPN.com now for Enhanced TV. Another episode of ESPN's Two Minute Drill is next. <laughs> Two Minute Drill has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. But Hamilton steals it. Hamilton stole the ball. Down goes Frazier.